Party. Now it's time to wrap it all up. I pressed shut down again. Disconnected from power, discharged the computer and opened it up to install the Samsung 2TB 860 Evo SSD. I also relocated the HDD to another 3.5 inch empty bay while reconnecting its data and power cables. Upon boot up, I verified that all the installed drives were indeed visible from the system. I had previously cloned the system onto a 2TB 860 EVO. To clean this drive, I opened Command Prompt and clicked to run as administrator. On the Command Prompt window, I tapped Disk Part, then List Disk, then I tapped Select Disk 0, as this was the listed number for the 2TB Samsung. Be very cautious to select the correct drive. You will not want to erase the wrong disk drive at this point. Then I typed clean and afterwards exit to exit disk part. Now I hit it uh, restart again. This way the 860 Evo was clean erased and available from my storage needs. I could have repeated the same procedure for the 1GB Toshiba HDD listed by disk part as disk 1, but I do not require that space yet, so I kept it as is for now. As for the Samsung drives, my 860 Evo was not recognized by the Magician software after its initial installation. The same had happened and with the 970 Evo as the Magician was not showing all the available options like optimization, over-provisioning or secure arrays but only system compatibility and performance benchmark. I found out that after pressing the performance benchmark a few times and going back and forth to the system compatibility screen, the Samsung drive was eventually recognized by the magician and uh, had all the available options including to turn on rapid mode for the 860 EVO and optimize it, which I did and I was very pleased with the resulting benchmarks. For reference, the 860 EVO went from 560-526 MB per second read and write sequential speeds to 7249-6843 MB per second, while the 970 EVO reached 3540 or to 2455 MB per second, respectively. Here are the speeds of the HDD, the 970 EVO, and the 860 EVO on the crystal disk mark. One last item that I had to adjust was to turn system restore protection back on again and create a system restore point. I then run Dell support assist without any glitch. Success and system shutdown. Upgrade was now complete.